Uh, hi, this is Vitek here uh, and Bitronics. And due to my uh, recent work uh, involving uh, electrostatic potentials, I was looking for um, a device which will allow me to detect a um, uh, static uh, potential uh, on a subtle scale, but I built one last year and uh, or was early this year, I don't remember. And uh, I I had a video on 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 this one. It's you know I just brushed the sharpie over my over my hair, and you know it works fine. But uh, the problem is that this detector will uh, show me uh, both charges, positive and negative. And uh, what I was looking for, I was looking for something relatively simple to build, which will actually uh, detect the presence of a negative uh, or positive uh, particles. Um, so w when I when I work uh, um, and explore a triboelectric um, phenomenon, I can uh, kind of attract charges moving uh, up and down. I found one circuit uh, on the internet, the one here, uh, which is fairly simple, except I did not have uh, such MOSFETs and I'll have to order them and wait a weeks uh, to get this, uh, get this done. Um, however, a circuit is simple, it can work with a, a one and a half a volt battery or nine volt and uh, the, these resistors it should be accordingly 100 ohms or 680, maybe even 1 kilo ohm. And the switches are resets uh, for for gates. And uh, the the antennas are simply the coils of wire in plastic tube. You, you will find a video, the guy showing the circuit on a, on a YouTube as well. But um, I wanted to have one uh, done soon without waiting three weeks for uh, components from Far East. And, uh, and then I discover, <coughs> excuse me, I discover a different circuit on the net which uh, has been developed by uh, Mr. Je Jeremy Ahern uh, from uh, Wales. He's an ex Welsh teacher and he's got the lab. And and does various experiments, and uh, that's pretty uh, ingenious idea. Um, what we have here, uh, we have um, uh, integrated circuit uh, CD4011, which is um, a CMOS series uh, uh, quad NAND gate. We are using only three gates here, and uh, the 3 mega ohm resistor, that's our antenna. A three mega ohm resistor it's protecting the uh, the gates as we know the the CMOS components are pretty sensitive to uh, static so we are using this to our advantage we have a two uh, diodes they can be uh, one n for one for a that's what I use or a, a nine fourteen any blocking diode a signal diode will do and um, what we have here, we have uh, two capacitors, and uh, the Jeremy uh, suggests using those small tubular uh, ceramic capacitors, <coughs> as they have a small uh, leakage current. They can be found in uh, old uh, TV sold radios. Um, they basically what they do, they are biasing uh, the input gates. Uh, we could use probably a couple giga. Uh, ohm uh, resistors here, but this is more <laughs> more practical. Um, so uh, did I say giga? No, I think we are talking mega, not giga. Um, so what 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 we have here? We have uh, three gates, and uh, the output. I just let you see the numbers on the on the pins and the outputs they go through 
470 ohm resistors and we have uh, two LEDs and the one here it's red and that will be our detector of positive charge and uh, the one coming from pin 10 through the resistor it's green and that will be the indicator of our uh, negative uh, charge, electrostatic charge and uh, here is a switch, 9 volt battery and uh, that's the ground uh, here as well and they are connected to uh, negative of 9 volt battery the, the current uh, the circuit consumes is very small so it can work long time uh, on it and uh, uh, these two pins, pin 7, it's a 14 pin uh, uh, chip pin 7 it's connected to the circuit ground, 14 it's uh, positive um, the antenna can be uh, just a loop of wire uh, or a small uh, telescopic antenna and uh, one thing which is important uh, the fourth gate as you see we're not using the the circuit has a four four gates and we're using only three the fourth one should have uh, inputs grounded so pin 13 12 they should be connected to the to the circuit ground uh, yeah just as I show in here and uh, another thing uh, if you're gonna put this as I did in a plastic box uh, the box the circuit should be at least partially shielded like a piece of uh, a copper or al aluminum foil at least under one side and uh, connected to uh, to the circuit ground um, so that's pretty much it I hope you can have a good look of the of the circuit as is. What's interesting about this um, is that it's not only detecting uh, uh, charges but it's detecting uh, moving charges movement which is important if you if you work with the devices like Van de Graaff a generator and you're trying to um, pick right materials for your roller belt and upper roller so just in case if you're not just after making sparks but uh, uh, you for any particular reason like me you want positive or negative output uh, then uh, it's nice to see how the charges are getting moved and uh, uh, you can you can uh, choose your uh, uh, materials for the rollers and belt accordingly and uh, what's I uh, hope you can see it um, I have a charges movement and, uh, and the response of the device so if the positive charge is approaching there will be red LED read if the positive charge is receding the red will change to green if the negative charge is approaching there will be green LED and uh, if the negative charge is receding green will turn to red if both charges are present then we're gonna have both LEDs lead and if no charge is present there will be there will be no light anyway so this is this is pretty simple pretty simple circuit and uh, I I put this in a in a little plastic box with uh, with the short uh, copper antenna also it's a good idea I didn't do it I just thought of it later to shield the antenna inside the box and uh, I have a two LEDs here and a little little switch and uh, right now when I uh, when I turn it's a green I'm just gonna use the same sharpie and uh, and touch right now right now she shows the the positive charge present. I'm gonna use the trick with the. I don't have long hair, only a short one. And uh, okay, I I have my sharpie. It's about it's a couple inches distance, and she's responding. She's 
she is responding to the the charge on the on the plastic pen. Anyway, it's pretty sensitive. Like I uh, I use a piece of wool and uh, and the same pen earlier, and uh, it was detecting charge from 10 10 inches uh, 10 inches distance. So for what I need, it's it's pretty it's pretty sensitive anyway it's easy easy to uh, easy to build two capacitors two diodes two resistors and two leds well three resistors uh, counting uh, three mega ohm and uh, you might want to play with the capacitors i built two i built one on a, i built one on a prototype board and i have a uh, 200 uh, picofarads in it and it works just fine and uh, and uh, in this one I put uh, I put 47 picofarads and it uh, works just fine but it's something to experiment with anyway that's all I was going to share with you for tonight and thank you for watching